Hey, it's Ben. Welcome back to Mustache Moto. Today I want to talk about tools and the tools you should have in toolkit on your bike. Um, some of these tools will be specific to the type of bike you ride. I'm on a BMW R1250GS, so things like Torx bits I have on my bike you may not have on yours. You'll have to make some of those adjustments uh, for yourself, but we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Let's jump right in and start talking about these. Let's start off with got a crescent wrench, adjustable. Um, I don't know that I would actually need this for any of the bolts on my bike, but if there's something I have not noticed, I can use this to get to it, or I could use this on someone else's bike if I need to lend them a hand. I've got a Leatherman. This one is uh, needle nose pliers. Of course, it's also got the blade and screwdrivers and all those other goodies on there. Always good to have on hand. These came from the toolkit actually came up from under the seat on the bike. So a little Allen uh, shaped Torx wrench and a little reversible screwdriver and the handle is used for opening the oil cap on the bike. Next, uh, let's go to, what do we talk to about next? A couple more wrenches that came with the bike. We'll open in. This is a really cool socket wrench that I got. Um, so the ratchet is three-eighths on one side and a quarter inch on the other, and it's flat so it doesn't take up much room in the toolkit. Um, then I've wrapped it with uh, duct tape and two kinds of electrical tape. The reason I love this wrench is it takes up less space. The downside would be a regular round-handled wrench. You could put a pipe on the end of it and get extra leverage if you need it. This you could just, you know, use your foot and step on, something like that. Um, I got this at Harbor Freight, but they also sell them for a little bit more on Amazon. I'll put a link below. With the ratchet, I've got, of course, the sockets I need for my bike, as well as spark plug. And I've got a little extension with a quarter inch adapter on it. Continuing with, in that vein, I've got a little right angle screwdriver a little right angle ratchet, I should say. That's really good for getting into tight spots. Um, I've got a little bit set that I put together, kind of changing things out. So I've got straight and Phillips head screws, screwdrivers, and then I've got three of the, or four of the smaller Torx bits that go on the bike. It's also got a little uh, quarter inch adapter. So if I want to put this on a ratchet, I can use it that way too, on a socket wrench. These maybe $5 or something, a real good deal and really handy to have. For the larger Torx um, bolts on the bike, the socket, the ratchet type are really big. So I got these kind of uh, oops, Torx that have a 10 millimeter hex on the back. So the way I use these is with the 10 millimeter socket. So these go right in and then I can get as much leverage as I need. And then the largest one, the great thing about that, the drain plug on my bike, to drain the oil, I've, the filler is in here, but to drain it, I can put this in backwards because it's a 10 millimeter Allen. Next, let's see, I've got a few little bits here. So I've got a razor blade for cutting anything I need to cut. A couple of little wire paper clips these are great if you need to short out a connector. If you break the uh, side stands cutout switch on your bike, you could cut a little piece of this and use it to short out the connector so you can keep riding. Uh, some bikes, like my old V-Strom, you'd use one of these to short out, to put in the, uh, make it in service mode so you could see if there's any codes in the bike. I also keep a couple of little uh, oil drain plug washers Occasionally I have to change my oil on the road, and I've always got that with me, and they don't take up any space, really. Uh, Electrical-wise, I've got a really small multimeter, so if I'm, anything's on the fritz, I can check voltage, I can check uh, continuity with that. And then I also have a little jumper cable and wire. And I keep a few fuses. These are kind of a holdover from previous bikes. I don't actually have fuses on the BMW, but a lot of my friends do, so I figure throw them in there, and if I need to help somebody out, I can do that. 
Let's see, next, let's talk about these. I've got uh, JB Quick Weld, this, or Quick Steel. This stuff's amazing. It starts to set in about 15 minutes, strong as steel. So if you were to bust a hole on the uh, drain pan or the oil pan on your bike, something like that, you could mix this up, cover it up, and get that sealed enough to get home. Uh, if you stripped out a bolt, you can also use this to kind of put that back together. So that's awesome to have. Uh, super glue, and then also some rubber cement that I use with tire snakes if I need to plug a tire. Notice I got these in little Ziplocs because sometimes they'll get punctured just from tools and other things banging around and you don't want that leaking all over the inside of your other tools. Uh, I've got a few small zip ties, useful for anything. I've got an Allen wrench that fits the um, head protectors aftermarket that I put on the bike. So you can make sure you have something that fits everything. Uh, I mentioned the tires and tire snakes, so I got the tools to use those as well as the tire snakes. Uh, I also have a second tire plug kit. This is motorcycle specific and it's got these little tiny plugs. I keep this too because if I were to get a really fine nail or a piece of wire in the tire, it's less damage. You don't have to ream the tire out and open the hole up to, to plug it. So I figure that's a little bit safer way to do it. A um, pair of vice grips. These are really, really important. So if you have a fastener you can't grab with anything else, you can use this. Of course, you're going to damage it, but sometimes you have to do that. Uh, but the other huge thing is if you break a lever, you could make this a, a brake lever or a clutch lever, or you could even use it as a shift lever on the bike. So lots of ways to, to get out of trouble with that. Um, let's talk about some tire things. Of course, a, a little tire gauge. I also have a valve stem removal, a little core remover. And I keep an air pump. This is a rechargeable one. It's fairly small. You can get smaller ones and motorcycle specific ones. This works well for me. It was a Christmas gift, so I'd like to hang on to that. Uh, then I've got some bailing wire, just some stainless steel wire for who knows what. And I've got a CO2 cartridge and an adapter to put it on the tire. This comes from a, the bicycle world, super duper small. You know, I've got the air pump, but if I ever needed to reseat a bead on the tire, that's what you need. You need that quick burst of air. This would get the tire back on the bead, and then I could fill it up the rest of the way with the, with the pump. So that all goes into my toolkit. So this is like the perfect size. This is actually a camera bag that I got at Goodwill. So I really highly recommend hit the thrift stores. You'll find a, a bag that's the right size for the number of tools you take on your bike. Cheap, I think I paid a dollar, maybe two. Um, great way to keep all your tools together. Two other things. These are stainless steel zip ties. Uh, not real expensive, I'll put a link for them, but if you ever needed to wire up or hook, hold on to um, exhaust or something that gets hot, something on the engine, you could use these, they're not going to melt, and they're really, really strong. And then finally, I've got this bead breaker. It's similar to a Motion Pro, but it's a, it's a Vever brand, which was much cheaper. Uh, this would only really be needed if I had to patch a tire. I'm tubeless, so I can use the tire snakes to get back on the road. But if I needed to, if I had a real rip and had to patch from the inside or put an inner tube in, I'd need this. Doesn't fit in the bag. I don't take it all the time. This would be more for if I'm going on a longer backcountry trip and I just want to be protected against any possible problems. I mentioned earlier that you probably need different tools in your toolkit than I do. So the best way to assure that you have all the right tools is a tip that I got from Brett Tax. And that is, anytime you work on your bike, use this toolkit. If you always break this out and use these tools, you're going to be familiar with them, and you're going to figure out really quick what tool you might have missing, and you'll be able to put it in here. You might have the full snap-on kit in the garage, but if you use those all the time, you're not going to know what's missing from your kit. So I hope you don't need a toolkit very often 
But if you ever do, I hope you've got what you need with you and hope to see you back here at the channel soon.